Hello and welcome to the Graphic Online News in Brief. Today, Lord Paul Boateng, a member of the House of Lords in the United Kingdom, was in town. He was the main speaker at the annual leadership of the University of Professional Status in Accra. He spoke on the topic for failing the promise of the challenge of leadership moving from rhetoric to delivery. One of the main things Lord Boateng raised in his lecture was how it has become terrible that a statement on the internet that a Dutch passport is worth more than a Ghanaian PhD has generated public discussion and had gone viral. In his words, we cannot allow it to be so and leadership must be at the heart of our response. When uh, <laughs> the statement on the internet that uh, a Dutch passport is worth more than a Ghanaian PhD. There's something terrible when that goes viral on the internet. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. And if it is so, it must not be so. It must not be so. We cannot allow it to continue to be so. Leadership. Leadership. That must be at the heart of our response. Lord Paul Yalbwaten also lamented how a string of bad policies and governance has forced Ghana to play catch up with the rest of the world in terms of growth and development. World Bank and the IMF disinvested in higher education in Africa at the same time as the tiger economies of Asia were investing in higher education. Is it any surprise then that Malaysia overtook uh, Ghana in terms of its GDP? Is it any surprise then uh, that Malaysia, who after all were gifted by the former first prime minister uh, of uh, Nigeria, Sir Abaka Tafawa Balewa, uh, Sir Abaka Tafawa Balewa and Dr. Azikwe gifted Malaysia, not just the saplings, of uh, the palm oil trees, but also the Nigerian technicians. He gifted that technical knowledge and those saplings to Malaysia, and now Malaysia outperforms Nigeria in the, in the production of palm oil. That's the reality. All the result of bad policy, poor governance, and it must be said, a failure of leadership. So we are now required to play catch up. He stressed that high performance, innovation, service, enterprise and respect should be made and upheld as the underlying principle of governance if Ghana was to achieve the vision of its founding fathers. I would suggest that the his and the her of leadership, the his and the her of leadership is high performance, High performance, innovation, and service. High performance, innovation, and service. The his. And the her. High performance, high performance again, enterprise and respect. High performance, enterprise, and respect. The his and the her of leadership. And it's these two working in partnership that are the very foundation of delivery. High performance is the common and indispensable basis of delivery. Innovation reflects the capacity to think outside the box, to look, to see, and to dig, to find out and to act on what you see and find out in ways that are shaped by the maxim of it's what works, what counts. It's what works, what counts. From the public lecture, we take you to La Palm and Labadi Beach Hotel in Accra, 
where some demonstrators this morning gathered to protest against the sales of SNED 60% stake in four hotels. The main convener for the protest was Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa, Member of Parliament for North Tong. Selling is not the only option. There are so many things you can do. In politics, Kennedy Ohini Ejapon, the member of parliament for Assin Central, has gone on record to indicate that he is not going to contest the 2024 presidential election as an independent candidate in the wake of call from some supporters for him to do so. I have not resigned from the party. Hey, we are Baba. I am not going independent. Amen. I'm still an MPP member. Yes. In Wa in the Upper West Region, residents woke up on Tuesday morning to a sad story of the killing of two private security personnel who were at their post at the various areas in the Wa Township. The police in the statement said investigation has commenced into the circumstances surrounding the death of the two. According to the police, the two incidents were recorded at the Wa East Education Service Office and the Wa Model Junior High School. Last week, it was announced by a member of National Health Insurance Authority Board that a mandatory health insurance policy for visitors to Ghana was to start in the next two weeks from July 1st. Dr. Bernard Okoboy, the Minister of Health, has explained that it was only a proposal by the National Health Insurance Authority. Dr. Okoboy, in Tuesday's statement, indicated that the move was here to be discussed and approved by cabinet. He said while the proposal aims to ensure that the foreign national have access to health care during their stay in Ghana, it is important to know that it has not yet been discussed or approved by cabinet and so it is not yet a government policy, the minister stated. Meanwhile, at the media briefing last week where the modalities of the policy before its, its rollout was discussed, Dr. Isaac Morrison, vice chairman in charge of the technical working group of the Visitors Health Insurance Scheme and member of the NHIA board, said it had been scheduled to start from July 1st. And before we go, we have a brief from the Trauma and Specialist Hospital at the Winneba on the incident of the alleged abandonment of the patient in the bush. A report on the incident filed by the suspended medical director, Dr. George Pra, has explained that two social welfare officers agreed for the patient to be discharged. Dr. Pra explained that after the patient was declared well by the clinicians, coupled with the fact that she was itching to leave the hospital, a consensus was reached by the two social welfare officers, one of the hospital and one from Goma Ojobi, for her to be sent back to Goma Ojobi as agreed by two social workers. At this juncture, the hospital ambulance accompanied by the social welfare officer and the staff of the hospital were detailed to transfer her accordingly by preferred destination of her choice after clothing her nicely and made available a wheelchair. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh and follow us on social media at Graphic Online Ghana on TikTok, Daily Graphic Ghana on Facebook and Instagram and Graphic GH on X. I am Mirabna Kopa.